How are you doing, man? Good, good. <laughs> wow, what a, what a nice background. Yeah, it's my apartment. In, in Paris, right? Yeah, yeah, in Paris. Oh, wow. Are you, are you living there alone or, or with friends? Oh, no, alone. Um, now it's lockdown, so I'm with a friend to do the lockdown. But normally, uh, I live alone. <laughs> right, right. Yes, it's a little bit lonely, right? The, doing the lockdown all by yourself. Yeah, the first lockdown was really, uh, really hard to be lonely. So we decided to be together. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So, so at least you can still produce your content and have another yeah, kind yeah. of mindset on it as well. Yeah, yeah. So cool to be right. together. But, but you're still able to go outside. You told me that you just come back. Oh, from yeah, you can. Um, for this lockdown, you can go outside only for uh, your job. Only for your job? Okay, okay, at least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can being on uh, everything. Right, right. So first of all, thanks for joining the Delca Talents podcast. And, yeah. and second of all, thank you for doing it in English because all your content is based in French. So first of all, thank you for doing that. I really, really appreciate that. And, and also welcome, man. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to do uh, work with you. But besides the brand deals, etc., I always like to talk with you um as of our conversations i saw a lot more than just an influencer so to say yeah. i think you have a really big influence on on the gay community the fashion world and man you're only 18 years old yeah <laughs> and your future i i'm afraid to tell what's going to happen for you 18 uh three months ago <laughs> just 18 three months ago yeah <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit, like, how are you de dealing with um, with the lockdown? Like, how is your day looking? How, how does your day look like? Oh, um, usually I wake up at eight or nine. Okay. And I prepare myself to do like my first Insta story of the day. Okay. And after I film TikTok or just uh, take pictures for Instagram, and I have like meetings with brands and shooting everything <laughs> but that's that's a lot doing that every day and always yeah. creating content like how, what do you do with your mindset in order oh, to do that um, like every sunday usually i wrote some ideas to do um for the next week wow. and i realize them every day <laughs> wow man that, that, that's really cool so, so let's let's get into it um how did you start with social media but before before telling that um just for the people that don't know you yet from the yeah. kind of English content, I think you're going to be really big international. Currently, you're a big star, of course, in, in France, but I think the whole world needs to oh, know you. Um, I have like 80% in France right. and 20% 20, 20 are all around the world. <laughs> wow. So, so non-speaking um, Fr France countries as well. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Because looking at your statistics, you have 1 million followers on Instagram. You have 215,000 subscribers on YouTube and you have 1.6 million followers on TikTok. Yeah. So, so how did you start on it? When did you decide? Go I started on. Uh, on social media almost three years ago, uh, six years ago uh, when I was uh, 12 or 13 years old. Wow. So I was in uh, middle school and um, I just like wanted to escape a little bit uh, reality and try something new and um i never thought it would get so big <laughs> well and, and so quickly like how, how long did it take you to let's say um, hit your first few thousand on, followers on, on youtube my third video uh, get one million views i don't know <laughs> why and after um i create my tiktok account on uh, january this year right the, um, it's explodes during the first lockdown. Like okay. we won uh, 1 million followers in two months. Wow. It was amazing. <laughs> but, but going from 12 years old, already posting on, on Instagram, I saw your first picture that you currently have is like yeah. an image of, uh, of Greece, right? Yeah, yeah. So when was the first time you, you tried to upload a, video, a, a picture and, and what was the reason behind it? Just for uh, fun? First, first of all, I've got like a private account on Instagram only for my friends. Right. And I was in Greece for, uh, for travel with my parents. And I just like take picture, pictures and I say, why didn't post it in public? 
um, after disciples like every day. <laughs> wow. And, and it's, it's mostly regarding fashion, right? Yeah. Um, at the beginning, it was lifestyle. And after it was more fashion. And now I'm fashion and lifestyle. Wow. And, and most of the, the brands you're working with are fashion brands as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's kind of a dream coming true, I guess. Your passion is fashion. Yeah, it's so cool. Like I have every day new clothes to come at my home. It's, uh, it's so cool. So, so wait, what is your favorite brand? Do you have one? Uh, I don't know. I, I love every brand. Right. So, yeah. Do, do you have like a top three maybe that, that you like wearing? Um, for now, because okay. it's, changed, uh, it's changed a lot. But now I think Marine Serre. Okay. Jack Muse and um, for um, uh, Lauer Budget uh, as a design. It's wow. so cool. Wow, really cool. Also amazing that you also say a lower budget um, because for a lot of people, um, what I like about your content, it's not only the, uh, uh, there is a lot out of it. It's exclu- of course exclusive and expensive, but you don't need to be, uh, you know, really. Yes, f- I, I mix a lot between a uh, fast fashion brand and luxury brand so that every people can just find what they want. Yeah, exactly. So, so what do you think makes you unique from other, other fashion Instagram influencers? In France, we are not uh, a lot that are doing fashion for men. And uh, I really like work on my outfits and there's no, no really boys that do that in France. <laughs> I think it takes a lot of confidence to do that um, because it's, it's unique, it's different. And I think therefore you are also extremely humble. But, and, and that mix, I think, makes you really unique. So how, how do you deal with it? Where does all the confidence come from? Because you're different and I understand that there are a lot of people that maybe don't agree, but you still every day wake up at eight and do what you're doing. How? Uh, at the beginning, I was not really confident. Like uh, I was not uh, wearing what I really want. And uh, after and after, with my followers, with their help and each other, we just like say okay we're going to wear what uh, what we want and now i'm really confident uh, i think uh, with uh, with there you can see that you can see that so so my second question is or my third question i don't even remember liton what did you want to become when you were younger um i don't really know but i think i would like come a stylist okay but um Gradually, I realized that I prefer like wearing the clothes and create an outfit. So it's like a blogger's job, I think. <laughs> and, and that's exactly where you're currently at. Yeah. So, so what is your current goal? Like you saw that there is not really a limited amount of it. And also the, the kind of the how quick you're growing. What is your next goal? What is like, do you have currently a dream where you want to become? I think like my first goal is to um to help my community like every day and um right now for my job uh, i'm really happy to have lots of projects that are coming so i think it's just to work and work and work and i love travel too really love travel what is your favorite destination um i think it was la or dubai it's so oh cool. wow and wow. new york too new york too so actually the next plan could it be for your viewers as well the united states maybe are we going to see you more in an international atmosphere yeah 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 it's coming it's coming (laughs) wow wow so so my next question is we talk about we we saw how far social media brought you also with your confidence with your community um you're making a living out of it you're you're living in paris which is not a cheap place you're dealing with some of the the most known people like yourself as well. So can you give me a few downsides? What is like, because I see you again, this is your full-time job. Every time you have to deal with social media. What is the downside? Where, where are you a little bit struggling with? Um, yeah, if you can tell me that. I think like in social media, there is a negative part uh, about like the haters, we can call them like that. And um, the hate is always present on uh, on social media, but um, I think it's hurt a lot of people at the beginning. For me, it didn't hurt me now, 
but I don't understand how can people just have pleasure to criticize others. It's it's so it's, sad. Yeah, it's like jealousy, I guess. Again, the the confidence that you have is is not like only dealing with the positive things. I think the negative things because your mind is focused on things that don't go right. Right? You can mm. have thousand good messages, but that one can take your attention. Yeah. So I, I think that's I think that's really how, how do you deal with that first of all? What would be advi your advice for them to still be confident enough and go your own way, even though it's extremely hard? Not listen what people can say about them. Right. And just pass their way and do what they want. So were you always your own person, right? That that figured and dealt with the hardship and you kind of came out with a solution for it? Or did you have like an example? of a person that you could talk to or that you watch videos from um, where you could learn from the person regarding hard times? Mm, I think internet is very good uh, for this too because there is a lot of video about like anxiety and problem can people deal with it. Right. So I think that can be good too. For right. This. And, and another question. Um, I don't think it is a question that a lot of people ask you. It's like your family, right? How are they supporting you? How they are dealing with you being famous? You know, you're, um, you're such a, a, really a type, really an influencer that you think, okay, it's really understandable why you're so big and why you're going to be so big. So how do they deal with it? Um, at the beginning, they didn't understand uh, very well what's happening. <laughs> I can imagine. And, uh, after when we, when we were like in a street or when like people just go to my parents' home to, to drink. <laughs> And they understand that there is lots of people that are watching uh, what I did on social media. Right. And uh, now uh, they look everything that uh, that I post uh, on social media. So your your family was always supporting you during your journey. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Wow, wow, it's wow! So that's cool. a, that's amazing. So what is the thing that the influencer position, let's say it like that, brought you? Where you're most proud of? I think it's to have this apartment at uh, 17 years old last year. Wow. It was such a big uh, accomplishment for me. So I think uh, just to be here in Paris, it's so cool. Are, are you going to stay for the long run in Paris or are you planning to go to the States? Uh, I think I'm going to stay in Paris, but moving to state like for some weeks uh, in the year. Just to work there on projects and see a little I, bit uh, the environment. I love Paris too much to... Uh, Go what is so good about Paris? What, what I'm missing out? Um, I really love like the lifestyle and like everything is just uh, in close to everything to in me, like, for work. Yeah, it's so cool. And my friends are here too. Mm. So, so what is your favorite food? Because I see you are eating a lot outside. <laughs> What's your favorite yeah, yeah. food? Um, uh, it's not um, that people, uh, not of people are really like that, but I really love like seafood pizza. It's oh, so, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's good. But for breakfast as well? Oh, no, no, not for breakfast. For breakfast, it's like the baguette. Oh, the, the baguette. baguette. So, so yeah. when you wake up, you go to, you eat inside or you eat mostly outside? Oh, it's depend. It's depend if I'm at home or if I just go to a shooting or, or something like that. So what do you eat at home if you wake up? uh cereals <laughs> cereal just with normal yeah. milk yeah oh cool that's I, that's that's not bad that's not bad at all awesome liton so i i think we're gonna hear a lot more about you um your youtube started two years ago now instagram of course is really your main um advantage i see i see instagram is extremely hard to build up tiktok goes a little bit quicker w what do you see as the future for youtube for you um I made like a video per week and I really like to, to vlog, but for now it's very complicated because of the situation. Like I can't go to, to travel. So I really want to make like a travel vlog and just discover the world. So I think um, for the future and uh, the next year, I will be more um, in, uh, in travel. Awesome. And I have two more questions. The, the first one is like, besides fashion and the social media, what is your biggest passion? Because I can understand sometimes it becomes boring, right? You said traveling as well. 
besides those three things, what is your biggest passion? What is your biggest drive? Um, I really like to just like hanging out with friends after a um, big day of work. It's so, so, so cool. And right. I just travel. I love to travel. It's so, it's awesome. like very uh, positive. It's so cool. Uh, traveling is, is to get to know yourself, go, go out of your comfort zone. It's really, really important as well. And then, of course, like to yeah. go ahead. I just go uh, to LA when I was 15. Alone? Uh, with one friend. From and 15 it was, years old? Yeah, and it was such a great experience, and we learned a lot about that. It was so cool. But weren't you afraid to go alone when you were 15 years old? We were a little bit, but we just like take an Airbnb <laughs> and it's uh, in fast. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. That, that's what I mean. That's so cool. I think you're, you're 18 years old, but when people talk to you, also brands, right? Because we work together on some brands, is you're so extremely professional. You, you do yeah, everything. People think like I'm 20, 22. At least, man, because you're one. I want to make this really clear out there for brands to work with you as well. You're doing everything by yourself. You're not working with the management. No, I just like I just have a stylist for my Instagram look and to like prepare fashion week. But for for management, it's me now. For now, man, you're your own manager at 18 years old, doing it everything alone. And also making your content on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. I was uh, in an agency before, but uh, like since five or six months, I'm alone. And it's much better and I really prefer, prefer that. I, uh, yeah. I see that, man. And you're dealing with it good as well. It's so cool to deal everything and just like do what I want and create content that, that I like. Awesome. And I have to close it with, with one more thing because I'm 100% that everyone wants to know about it. Regarding relationships. Are you currently in a relationship? Oh, no, not for now. Like everything is asking, but not for now. Right. And, and then one more question about it. What is the most important thing you're looking for in a relationship? Um, I think some, someone who can understand my job very well and who loves traveling too, because if uh, this person don't like it, it will be so difficult for me. <laughs> So just so, traveling and, and like understand my job. And, and that's the person needs to be as... I love fashion too. Right. I love fashion too. Your job, your passion yeah. is something you do 24 seven, right? So does yeah, the yeah. person also need to be, I think a passion for something is really important. doesn't matter for what in life. So is that important for you as well? That the guy needs to have a passion, needs to be dedicated about something? I don't really know for now. I don't really like test everything. <laughs> that, that's, a really good, that's a really good answer to my question. So Litan, just for the people to understand you in the international environment, we're going to hear a lot, a lot, a lot more from you. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to come out with your own line as well for clothing, right? Is that the plan? Uh, I have had some propos propositions, but it was not really um, perfect for me and I don't want to make something that is not... Uh, perfect on all the line so for now it's in preparation or just like talking about right and i think in, uh, in future it can be happen yeah thank you again for coming on the delka talents podcast even though it's in english you did an amazing job and uh yeah we will we will look we're looking forward to hear more from you yeah with pleasure <laughs> awesome litan thanks have a great day thank you bye bye bye, -bye.